What is going on, everyone? This is Ross in. Oh my god, it feels. I feel a bit weird getting behind the microphone again. I mean, I haven't done it in a little while. And um, there's a couple of things I want to talk about, like I do in most episodes. Um, well, not really episodes, but most situations, most videos. And I got that asked this the other day on Twitter, and it proper made me think about, you know, what I've been through on YouTube to get to where I am. Um, the highs, the lows, and um, hopefully the potential as well. I mean,. I was obviously a, a small YouTuber a very, very long time ago. Um, you know, it, it, I haven't blown up quick, so I'm saying. Um, it took me a long time to get this amount of subs. And I appreciate it. Obviously, you got to appreciate it. And hopefully, I've come up with a good, a, a sort of like a wrong word to call it, but a good product that people like. Um, obviously, you guys don't pay for it, so it's probably a wrong word to use. Um, but I would just want to show you and just talk for a, a couple of things that I had to start off by. And the problems that I had getting, you know, my feet off the ground, if you want to call it. I still don't consider myself big now, like 100%. Some YouTubers just say it and know they're big. But I seriously, seriously do not consider myself big now. I've got a long way to go for what I want to achieve from YouTube. And I'll obviously tell you about my aims and objectives very shortly. But first off, I want to talk about my old channel. Now, my old channel was a, you know, very, very small, small channel, obviously. Um, I started off the days in FIFA 09, I they had, there was Wee Peeler, Marius Herpes F, and there was this other guy called Liam, he made some FIFA videos, and there's like one or two other little guys, um, who I'm afraid are not about at the minute, and no one really did commentaries at the time, you know, no one did this, talking into a mic, everyone just got a few goals, put a few bit of music at the background of it, and, um, you know, that's why it was so good. Marius, obviously, is editing, you know, got him to where it is today, obviously got him his job at EA and stuff, so he doesn't really do much on YouTube anymore, um, but I, I had a channel called Rossi is here, boys. Don't, you know, you, everyone has them weird emails and stuff, you know, when you meet when you're like 11 years old. Um, I think, you know, some, some if you're like an 11 year old girl, you had Barbie girl at Hotmail or some shit, and now you're looking at it at 17 years old and you're thinking, why did I call myself Barbie girl? It's just one of those things, you know, what you when you make a username for yourself, you, you, you do it how you feel at the time. And uh, that was a ridiculous thing for me to do. And, you know, I, I spent a long time getting my first 1,000 subs. And you guys may think now, oh, 1,000 subs is a lot. But back then, you know, there wasn't the size of the... I think the, I'm, I'm going to use the word community. You know, the size of the community wasn't there. Oh, my shit, there's some diarrhea. The folder just fell down. Um, there wasn't the size of the community back then. So you couldn't actually get that many subs quite quickly. And it took me a long time. That, I mean, there was a guy called Ash... Um, uh, you may know him as, uh, what's his name? Oh my god. Um, something balls, magic balls. Oh my god. I can't remember his name. Um, my balls are magic. I think, is that, is that, is that what he's going under? I can't remember. He had a channel. Um, he's done, he did some really good, um, uh, uh, Reading career mode series and it got him to a thousand subs. And I remember being like a hundred or two hundred subs thinking, you know, that is amazing. I remember speaking to him on Skype or MSN maybe back in the day thinking, you know, how'd you get that? And he's like, oh, you know, just a typical do what you do make sure you enjoy it you know just the typical advice you get from youtube and i was on 200 subs i mean i i uploaded chop chip and chop between a bit of cod clips and uh fifa clips and stuff and silly 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 thing of me obviously i used a few copyright music which obviously gets you strikes so um i was a fan of maybe like a kanye west song or a 50 cent song i put in the background you know when you don't know youtube back then you just do what you think is best and that was obviously not the best idea for me so back then i did that I had a couple of copyright strikes and you know it really really annoyed me and this is before i had partnership and stuff guys so what i'm about to say before you jump the gun i i really really wanted to get my channel some views now literally obviously there was no partnerships involved back then so don't think oh, you money whore when there's no money involved <laughs> um but the silly silly thing was there was a man united game uh, midweek in the uh, champions league and I uploaded the highlights to my channel just to try and get some views and get my channel out there a little bit more. Silly, silly, silly thing. You ain't forgot me by the balls. Sh shut my channel down. And that was just when I got to a thousand subs as well. So there was a time where I thought, you know, this YouTube thing is not going very well. Why am I doing this? And I started up again. I started Rossi HD up and I thought, right. Let's see what I can do. So I uploaded a couple of COD clips and a couple of FIFA clips like I did back then. I thought, you know, this just ain't working for me. This just ain't working. You need to stick to one thing and one thing only. So I started doing a bit of FIFA uh, properly. I did a series out, which was like um, 
it was like a dream team rossi plays dream team or something like i built a team for like 30k and then showed you guys some goals and stuff like a lot a lot of people still do now and the first episode got like 20,000 views literally i don't know how and i was like wow you know this, this is mental um so i made another one got another 20,000 views and i met another one got like 15,000 views i thought you know i'm proper onto something here so you know when you when you hit something guys and you know it gets a good response keep working at it you know keep going keep going so i just stuck to fifa then started doing a load of different i always always did fifa mine don't think i never did always always did fifa but just never consistently like i do now so i just kept working and working and working at fifa and you know i wouldn't say i had a break I would just say I steadily growed, you know, steadily got enough subs. Um, people saw my videos through search bar, maybe Google bar, um, I don't know, and people liked me. And I sort of, you know, gained this little bit of a personality about me that people actually enjoyed. Now, people do call me like a chav, I think, which is a ridiculous thing because that's, that's mad. I would never consider myself to be one of them. Um, you know, people actually quite like my personality, and I think that's what's got me to where I am today. So, the the goals I want to achieve from YouTube now, um, it's, it's going to sound a bit weird, but I've always, always, always wanted to go to LA, and I just would love to go to LA. So, I really want to go to E3 next year, and hopefully, once I if I achieve that, then uh, YouTube sort of certainly done done me well i'm not expecting like ea to pay for me or anything like that i'm expecting to pay my own way even if i save up a lot of youtube money if you want to call it i'll save up enough to go um but it was just always one of them things i wanted to do and if i get the chance to do that i'm hoping to go with like gomf you know everyone knows gomf scammer gomf you know um top top lad really is and i want i want to just have the opportunity to go and do something like that and just make something of myself out there like not necessarily make some of myself out there straight away but i just want to have the chance to go out there and i think getting youtube to, to allow me to do that would be would be absolutely outstanding and I want to be. I want to have this on YouTube. This this personality that people will enjoy. And when I get into video logs and stuff, I can do the life in the life of Rossi, in the life of you know Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You know, you know the drill. And just make a series that goes on like that. And I, I think I've pretty much covered most of the stuff in this video, guys. And if you want me to cover any more between now and FIFA 13, whilst video ideas are pretty dead, let me know in the comment section below. If you've actually enjoyed this video and, and it's actually helped you a little bit between you and your channel, leave a like if you can. Doesn't you don't have to? I'm not asking you to before people are saying, mm, asking for likes again, Rossi. Um, that's 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 mad. Um, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. This is Rossi, and I'm out. Thank you. Peace.